What is going on guys and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So today we're talking about ticker symbol MVIS Microvision. We have a lot to talk about in terms of what is going on right now with MVIS pushing up here again. It was up over 15% this morning after a 30 plus percent Friday. So we're going to be diving into MVIS support resistance levels, technical analysis, why the stock is running some rumors right now of potential buyout. We are currently looking at tip ranks right now with MVIS. We have one rating of a hold that was one month ago from HG Wainwright, a four and a half star analyst. So we'll dive a little bit deeper into what is going on here now with MVIS. So taking a look at the chart briefly, we're gonna be diving into our chart over on Weeble in just one second, but looking at some of these stats, for MVIS, for those who are jumping in now, uh, decently high short float, 19.52%. Uh, and the reason why I think this could be, you know, a short squeeze potential, right? This stock got kind of beaten down, down towards 10 bucks after it hit up over $20. Now, of course, you're pricing in the future of their technology. We talked about in the prior video. I'm diving a little bit deeper into some of their technology, but you're pricing the future of the technology. But today we broke out over this 1950, which is key. Very, very key. So we'll talk about what's going on with MVIS in the future here if the stock holds up over 1950 for today and into this week. But first, make sure you are jumping down below, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button. Appreciate you guys for doing so. Any links to the platform we use, which is Weeble, which is free, you can get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit 100 bucks. And links to other resources such as TipRanks, Finviz, all that is in the description box down below, as well as links to our other channels, TC Trading and Thomas Carvo, if you want to check those out as well, posting there all the time. So diving into MVIS, here's our daily chart. But of course, right now it's pre-market hours. We're filming this video. The stock is doing a lot better. So what we were watching was last week and over on the TC trading channel, we talked about how to short stocks on Weeble. And we did a live example of shorting MVIS when it came up here into the $19 area and we shorted it. Now the stock ended up coming back down. So for an intraday, just a day trade short, it was a really good idea. The thing I believe I mentioned in the last video was that However, if MVIS gets back up into that 1950, I don't think you want to be shorting it this time. Because if we look at the daily chart, right, this would now be the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time or whatever it is now that we're back up here and we're testing. And the more you test a resistance or a support, the weaker that level becomes. And we seem like we want to break out and push above. So we did just that here. We'll go to the five minute chart so you can kind of see a little bit less kind of craziness. We did just that here at 4 a.m. And if you don't have a broker that will allow you to trade at 4 a.m., make sure you're jumping down below, getting at least access to Weeble, whether you use it as a primary or a backup. There's tons of moves happening at 4 a.m. on a lot of these stocks that have had strong prior days. And so MVIS had a pretty strong day before, pushing up here to 2109 just after 4 a.m., 415, and then pulling back. But guess what it did? Prior area, we have this kind of band, right? This little band of this strip of blue. This was a prior resistance up around that 1950 or so. That prior resistance, as we broke above, became new support. So for right now, MVIS is holding up on that 1950 roughly, I would say between 1925 and 1975. That's your area of support as of right now, as it was a prior resistance. And since it's been holding up, it's bounced again and hit up here just shy of 21. If MVIS gets some solid momentum, this stock could certainly go a lot higher today. However, we want to dive into the four hour chart to talk about what could be the next areas to watch. And we have identified a couple lines already. So we've done the work beforehand, but we have these areas right here. So take a look at this. We want to look back to the left and look back to when MVIS made its run uh, back in February, right? When it was up in February, it had a couple days where we had these spikes, these candles that topped out. We have a level right here at 2142. So about 2150, another level right here at about 2233. We have some more levels up around 2350 and then 24, a little over 24 were the areas to watch. So if MVIS gets that momentum today, we would not be surprised to see this thing hitting up over $21. And those are your areas to watch in terms of resistance to the upside. The only problem, if you're a long here, is that we are getting up to areas that MVIS has struggled with in the past. And when you get up to reason highs, all-time highs definitely have a lot of resistance to break through. So that's the concern for the longs here. But if the volume continues to pour in and we have a day similar to Friday, MVIS could blow 
the shorts right up here, and this could make some significant moves. So it has a couple more dollars to the upside at least, uh, obviously. And then if things get crazy, you know, things can get crazy from there. It floats about $145 million. So if you think about what we had on Friday in terms of volume, you had about 117 million shares traded. So if we start rotating that float in terms of shares traded, you get up over 150 million shares traded. Yeah, you can start to see some significant moves to the upside with MVIS. So that's what we're watching here, at least for today. Support right now down towards that 1950. Below that 1950, the stock could come back down and it could get shorted. As we have seen that happen before, the stock does fall off as it hits up to these levels. But it seems like there's a lot of momentum behind it for right now. So we'll see how today goes in the next couple of days. And we'll be talking about the stock, obviously, if we have some more information to dive into. Make sure you're, again, jumping down below, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button, grabbing access to those links and those resources in the description box and pinned comment below, as well as checking out some of our other channels in the description box. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.